Coinciding with the International Human Rights Day, December 10, 1959 is the turning point in early history of the country's struggle for independence. In 1959, South African homelands policy was imposed in Namibia, but most old location residents refused to move to the new location, present-day Katutura, meaning the place where we do not want to settle. On the night of December 10, a protest meeting held in the old location ended in a bloody confrontation with the South African police. And as history has it, women were at the forefront of this altercation in defense of their children and partners. Addressing the victims and family members of those who perished during the massacre, Comas Regional Governor Laura McLeod Kashirwa said, What transpired on that day 54 years ago was a brave move that demonstrated to the world that Namibians were prepared to resist colonialism with whatever means at their disposal. She noted that actions of people such as Kakuruka the Mungunda and Moses Tarweb, among others, did not go in vain as the nation celebrate Human Rights Day today as a result of their selfless deeds. We should guard our freedom fairly and jealously and should never allow our country and people to be subjugated, colonized and otherwise taken hostage by anybody by any means. No matter how merciless or powerful they may be on this earth, with the massacre and forced removal still fresh in their minds, the former residents of old location witnessed the symbolic laying of a hero's wreath. They narrated the unfolding of the 10th December in their own words. When we were at the old location, Aaron Chatindi came and told us that we must go to Mbauka's place as he was on his way to ring the bell at the commando. Me and Evald Kachutwa who went there, found people lying on the ground, shot dead. Our elders had warned us of the colonial authorities' plan and told us to boycott and burn the municipal buses. And on that evening, we gathered to strategize. But the police had already planned defense and surrounded us from all corners and started shooting. We are glad our leaders were here to share the history of that day for those who were not there. History is important, especially for the future generations. Today, also observed as Namibia Women's Day, the country moved past the colonial atrocities into fully embracing the national reconciliation as a guarantor of political tolerance and national unity. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.